हेलो फ्रेंड्स हैप्पी सोल एंड अ फ्रेश माइंड एंड हेल्दी बॉडी ऑल थ्री कैन बी अचीव बाय द योगा विशिंग यू अ वेरी ग्रेट एंड हेल्दी इंटरनेशनल योगा डे माई नेम इज डॉक्टर कपिल चौहान आई एम हेड फिजियोथेरापिस्ट फ्रॉम मरिंगो क्यू आर जी हॉस्पिटल फरीदाबाद ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल योगा डे वी आर ब्रिंगिंग डेस्क योगा फॉर ऑल द पीपल हु आर वर्किंग विथ कंप्यूटर एंड डूइंग एनी अदर डेस्क योग यू कैन डू दीज योगिक एक्सरसाइजेस और द मूवमेंट्स एनी टाइम वाइल डूइंग वर्क Uh, so we first of all we will start with rotational exercise with vinyasa breathing start so let's start first with neck exercise we will start with neck rotational exercise with breathing pattern so what you are supposed to do is move your chin towards the left shoulder move around the chest and then touch the right shoulder then move backward and rotate your neck towards the left shoulder again now we will involve the breathing pattern in into this so you, what do you do when you are moving forward you are supposed to inhale and when you are moving backward you are supposed to exhale okay i will give you a dem demo again like this inhale exhale inhale exhale we will repeat the same exercise in opposite direction like this inhale exhale inhale exhale relax so this is a neck rotational exercise now come to the edge of the chair and uh, put your fingers over the shoulder then bring your elbow closer and then move them up like this and rotate them in a circular fashion fashion and again move the elbow closer like this now we will use the breathing pattern in this like this inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now repeat the same movement in opposite direction like this inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now we will do the wrist rotation exercise you are supposed to extend your arm like this and you are supposed to move the wrist in a circular fashion like this now we will involve the breathing pattern also like this inhale exhale first half with the breathe in and later half with the breathe out breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now in opposite direction breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now we will do trunk rotation exercise so in this exercise we will inhale and move our body towards the left side and then opposite side okay we will start now inhale exhale again inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale keep your back straight and erect now we will do hip and knee movements with the same breathing pattern okay so for this you are supposed to come to the edge of the chair like this keep your feet apart like this now uh, bring your knee closer like this and then move them up uh, move them away like this so now we will invoke the breathing pattern into this inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now we will do foot rotation exercise with the breathing pattern 
so for that sake you are supposed to extend your knee like this and then move your uh, foot in a circular fashion with breathing pattern like this inhale exhale inhale exhale breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now in opposite direction breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out so uh, basically what you are supposed to do while doing this exercise you are supposed to hold your breath okay so I, I will show you how you can do that so for example for the shoulder stretch when you are holding the elbow with the opposite hand you are uh, before pulling the elbow towards the opposite shoulder you are supposed to take deep breath in then pull hold as much as you can when you feel like you cannot hold more your breath then you have first come to into a neutral position relax position and then breathe out okay so we have to use this pattern in all the stretching exercises okay so let's start with the next stretching exercises so in this exercise what you are supposed to do you are supposed to keep both the hands above your head okay now take the deep breath in now hold your breath and move your head forward hold the breath as much as you can when you feel you cannot then come to come into the relaxed position like this and then breathe out okay we will do the same exercise again now we will do side neck bending exercise for this you are supposed to raise your right hand up and then hold the left ear cover the left ear with the right hand right palm basically and before doing before pulling the neck towards the right side you are supposed to take deep breath in like this and then pull the neck towards the right shoulder hold the breath as much as you can then come to come back to a neutral position and breathe out we will repeat the same exercise on the opposite side like this breathe in pull the neck hold your breath come back and breathe out again repeat the same exercise oh, oh. breathe in move pull the neck hold the breath come back and breathe out then again breathe in pull the neck come back and breathe out do all the neck exercise very gently and these exercise these neck exercise are very helpful for your uh, cervical pain next is a shoulder stretching exercise for this bring your arm forward and then hold the elbow with the uh, hand of the opposite side and then pull the elbow towards the opposite shoulder okay before pulling the shoulder before pulling the elbow you are supposed to take deep breath in and then pull hold the breath come back and breathe out again hold the elbow take deep breath in pull the elbow come back and breathe out now we will do uh, triceps muscle stretching exercise or elbow stretch you can say for this sake raise your right hand up and then fold the elbow then with the left hand grab your elbow and take the deep breath in then pull the elbow to the towards the opposite shoulder 
hold the breath then come back into a relaxed position and breathe out repeat the same and uh, towards left shoulder left elbow so raise the left hand again up fold the left elbow and then hold the left elbow and take the deep breath in pull the left elbow now come back relax and breathe out now we will do the bicep muscle stretching exercise with the breathing pattern so in this exercise come in, uh, first do namaste then take deep breath in then move your hand backward and then move your palm backwards like this and raise your chest up and all the breath come back and breathe in breathe out again breathe in move your hand backwards like this hold the breath come back and breathe out now we will do forearm muscle stretching first we will do front forearm muscle stretching exercise okay for this you are supposed to keep your hand like this now hold the fingers and then pull that push them downward and then take the deep breath in extend your elbow come into a relaxed position and breathe out repeat the same again with the opposite hand first you are supposed to come in this position then hold the finger grab the finger pull them downward push them downward and then take the deep breath in and extend the elbow come back and breathe out now we will do back forearm muscle stretch for this you are supposed to keep your hand like this now press the knuckles with the opposite hand downwards and then you are supposed to extend the elbow while taking deep breath in come back and breathe out repeat the same with the opposite hand okay you are supposed to press down the knuckles downward and take the deep breath in and extend the elbow now hold the position and hold the breath come back and breathe out now we will do side body bending exercise for this we will hold the armrest of the chair of the right side and then we will raise the left hand up and then we will take the deep breath in and then we will bend our back towards the right side then we will come back and breathe out again now this time raise the right hand up hold the armrest with the left hand and then take the deep breath in and bend your body towards the left side breathe you hold and maintain the position and then come back and breathe out now we will do forward back bending exercise so for this for doing this exercise you are supposed to sit at the edge of the chair and then hold the knees with the hands like this and then move forward take a deep breath in and then move forward now if you could do then try to touch the feet also with the hands hold the position for those who cannot touch the feet you can keep the hand over the knees only and they are supposed to hold the position as much as you can hold your breath then come back into a relaxed position and breathe out we will repeat the exercise again take the deep breath in move forward 
hold the position if you could do you you are supposed to touch the feet hold this position then come back to the relax position and breathe out now we will do hip stretching exercise which can be combined with back stretching exercise so for that sake you are supposed to put your feet over your knee and then you are supposed to bring your trunk forward like this before uh, bringing forward take the deep breath in bring forward as much as you can come back and breathe out repeat the same exercise now keep your left feet over the right knee like this now keep your hand one hand over the feet and another hand over the left knee and then take the deep breath in and move forward as much as you can you can feel the stretch at the hip joint and some stretch over your lower back reason and then come back into a relaxed position and breathe out now there is one more variation in the same exercise for this you are supposed to keep your right feet over the left knee and try to grab your knee joint and the foot by bringing your hands beneath the knee and the feet like this hold this position and come back and breathe out repeat the same again keep your left feet over the right knee and take the deep breath in now hold the feet and the knee joint like this and come forward hold the breath and maintain the position come back into a relaxed position and breathe out now one more variation we will do piriformis stretching exercise you can keep your right feet over the left knee and keep both the hand above your right knee joint and then take the deep breath in and the push the right knee downwards come back and breathe out repeat the same exercise towards the left side also keep your leaf left feet over the right knee joint keep both the hands above the left knee joint now take the deep breath in and push down the left knee joint you will feel the stretch at the hip region and at the side of the thigh also come into a relaxed position and breathe out now we will do the cat and camel exercise in the sitting position so how you will do it first hold interclasp your finger like this and then move the finger like this push the both the hand away like this and draw the navel inside like this and now inhale and raise your hand up and open your chest like this exhale draw the navel inside and push the hand away inhale raise the hand and open your chest exhale draw the navel in and push the hand away again inhale open your chest and raise your hand and you can uh, look towards the ceiling also and then exhale there is another variation of sitting based cat and camel exercise in this exercise you can keep your hand over the table at the front of you now you are supposed to slide your hand forward while taking deep breath in and draw the navel in 
and then breathe out and move your hand behind the chair and open your chest again breathe in breathe out breathe in slide your hand over the chair table then raise your hand up move them behind the chair and open your chest like this and breathe out if you do these stretching exercise with the breathe hold pattern then definitely it will increase the flexibility of the muscle and definitely you will feel the benefit if you have any stiffness of the neck area or the lower back area in the in these explained rotational exercises and the stretching exercise we basically targeted the neck area and the shoulder area and the lower back area so uh, basically uh, all the computer users or any other desk worker usually face the neck pain and the lower back pain and the shoulder pain or sometimes the wrist pain so if you do these exercise regularly definitely you will be much better then there will be minimal chances of happening any injury or any type of pain in your lower back region neck region or the wrist region thank you my name is dr kapil chawan from the marengo qrg hospital faridabad